In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a border radius scroll effect using GSAP on Elementor. Now, this is what we're going to be creating. So as you can see, whenever I scroll down to my section here, our border radius gets adjusted for this section and we have this oval shape here. And it looks, it's a really nice effect. I added it to actually my agency website. If you guys have been on there, luxdesigns.com. Um, it's a really cool effect. It's very simple to do. And that's what we're going to be creating here. I also have another effect to show you guys that probably will be coming out next week. But I want to get this video to about 50 likes. Just so then we can get um, this video out a lot sooner. As you can see, whenever we scroll down here, we have this cool um, image mask effect just expanding here. And we're actually able to do this in a really simpler way than the last video that I came out with, with the K and it's scrolling. Um, I ended up using Elementor's image mask to do this with GSAP. And it's really cool what we're able to do. We actually can even do a hover effect as well. So if you guys do want to see a video on this particular um, scroll effect, make sure to like the video and get it to 50 likes so I can release it a lot sooner. And of course, that will definitely help out the video for the YouTube algorithm. So hopefully you guys end up enjoying the video. And if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos just like this one. Now here's the video. So let's go ahead and begin here. I am using an Elementor template for those of you that may be wondering. Now, the first thing that we need to do is adjust our section that we're gonna add our um, border radius whenever we scroll. So go ahead and click on your section that you're gonna adjust where you're gonna have your border radius um, on scroll. So. What we need to do, we actually need to add some spacing right above this because if you were to scroll and we didn't have that spacing, um, it would end up cutting through our content here. Um, and we don't really want that. So go into your section, go into advanced, and then let's add some padding here. I'm currently using percentage for the padding, but um, that's fine. You can use pixels as well, but you probably want to add maybe about uh, about 15 should be fine. We can adjust that depending on um, our border radius when we scroll, but we'll have to see how that looks. Um, so once you have that, all we need to do is just add our CSS class. So then whenever we reach this section, um, we have it activate. So let me go ahead and check here. So the class that we're gonna add here um, is gonna be called radius section. I'm actually just gonna copy it in here, might as well. So it's called radius dash section. So just make sure you type that right into your CSS class. And then go ahead and hit update. I'm actually gonna open up another tab here and go to the dashboard. And go into your Elementor code, so Elementor, and then Elementor custom code. And go ahead and click add new. And we are going to call this GSAP section radius. So call that. GSAP section radius. And then go ahead and paste the code that I have provided in the description. Just click the link and then you should be able to grab that code from the link. And once you paste that in, um, we can make some adjustments to this, but let's just make sure that this works and then I'll go over a little bit of the code towards the end of the video. So make sure you have this set to the body end and then hit publish. And now we need to choose the page that we're gonna have this um, activate on. So go into singular and then choose pages and then choose a page that you want your um, GSAP to be working on. I think I called this GSAP border radius and we're gonna call this, we're gonna end up saving it there. All right, perfect. 
So now let's go back to the editor and let's open a preview here. And let's take a look and make sure that it's working properly. So as you can see here, we do have our, our scroller start and our scroller end. Um, this is for something else. It's not for, um, it's not for our border radius um, scroll effect. It's actually for the other scroll effect that I showed in the beginning of the video. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about right now. But anyway, whenever we scroll, you will see that um, this activates perfectly, but looks like we need to add some more spacing to this. So, and this uh, little start scroller is actually activating this one. So I probably should remove um, this first so then we can see where this one, where uh, this border radius starts. So I might just do that here. But before that, let's just add some more space into this. So let's go back to our section and go ahead and do maybe 17. And let's wait until that updates and refreshes. Scroll down. And we're going to add that a little more. Maybe about 20, 22. Just to make sure that it's working good. And you could scoot it more to the side if that was something that you wanted to do, but. I'm honestly just going to do it this way. And there we have it. So that works fine. Now let's go back to our Elementor code. And I'm actually going to go into my custom code here. And then go into my image mask scroll. And I'm actually going to remove uh, this marker here. I will have a video on this probably in a couple days. I probably already recorded this um, by the time this video comes out anyway. So I'll probably have this video out either this week or next week. Um, but you will see that pretty soon. So now let's go back into um, custom code. Of course, you probably didn't do this because you didn't have this on your site. Um, and let's go into our GSAP section radius because that is the one we're working on. And we're just going to go ahead and add some mark some uh, markers to this. So um, I will probably not include the markers in the code, but you can add this in. So just add a comma at the end of scrub and then uh, and then add a second line. We're going to just type in markers. I will remove this after anyway um, and then set this to true. And the only reason I'm adding this is just so then we can see when this is going to start. Um, and when it's going to probably end, but I don't think I set up the end, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but let's go ahead and refresh this though. And I can go over the code here a bit. So here we have our start. So as you can see, I pretty much set it up here. Let me go in here where I said it's going to start negative 25% from the section. So from this section, Negative 25 would, would be above. 25 would obviously be, if I just would have put 25% without a negative, it probably would have been, the start would have been down here. But since I put a negative, it added it um, higher up. So this is the start. And then our 25% is set to our scroller. So as you can see, it's 25% um, from the top to the bottom, 25%. So that's where that's at. I could go ahead and move this down if I wanted to and set this to the center instead. Um, but I'm going to leave it as is. I could just type in center. I'll just type it in. So if I type in center, you'd notice that um, this, this uh, scroller start is going to be probably right over here more. So it's going to be set to the center of the scroll bar. You see? Um, so that's how that works. Now it depends if that's how you guys want it. Um, which actually this, you know what, this one might work better. I feel like the start, I'd want it to start a little sooner, right? Um, that actually might work a little bit better. 
Let's see here. Maybe we can even have it start a little bit sooner. How about that? Actually, that might be better. So I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do maybe, uh, let's see here. Let's do, um, do maybe 50, we'll do 60, 65. We can do negative 65, which will bring it a little bit down. I don't want to make this video too long, so, but I'm just going to get that right for you guys. But just so then you guys have an idea of where the scroller should start. You guys can adjust that depending on um, how you guys want to go about doing it. Um, but it really depends. Oh, okay. So it's, sorry about that. It's actually the other way around. So let me do 65 instead. Um, okay, so that's good right there. As you can see, it starts right when we see um, the section, it already begins. So it's perfect. I'm going to give you guys that code there. I feel like that one is a lot better. Um, that will at least start it a little bit sooner. Now, let me just go over the code here a bit. So basically, we just have this function, this um, loader function. Um, we have the Ellie Builder. Um, basically, we only want it to, we only want our GSAP uh, scroll effect to work um, within our live site, not in the editor. Um, and we don't want it to show up on mobile. So that's why it will only work with anything above 1025. Um, so anything greater than 1025 or equal to 1025, um, the scroll effect will work. Because on mobile, it trust me, you do not want this on mobile. It does not look the best. Um, but yeah, if you want to remove that and try it out, you would actually have to remove this and then um, go ahead and remove this here. If you did want to have it on mobile, I guess. Um, but And then just remove this, this one here. Oh, sorry about that. You have to remove this and then it'll be all set for mobile, but I wouldn't recommend it on mobile. Just letting you guys know. Um, and then we have a function which is includes our GSAP down here. And let me go over the GSAP. So we have a um, GSAP 2 and we want it to target this, uh, this radius section. And we want it to trigger on a radius section, of course. And we want it to start um, within these inputs here. I already went over that. We have a scrub, so it's going to lock onto the scroll bar. That's what the scrub does. Um, and then uh, we have our markers just set to true, but I'm going to remove them right now. And then we have our border top left radius. And this is just targeting um, the, the border radius of our radius section here that we added. This one here, this specific section just targeting this section's radius and I have it set to 100% and from the left and the right 100% as well. It's a pretty straightforward um, GSAP code there. Very simple there. And that's pretty much it. Um, we have a duration of one. You can change the duration maybe to two or three, but I would just leave it at one depending on how fast or slow you guys would want it to go. So, yeah, I would just remove this um, and then just remove this comma and set it like this. You don't need the markers, but if you are going to have the markers just to adjust your start and end, um, then you can go about doing that. If you did want to add, I know that we have just a start right now. Um, you can add an end just for those of you that don't use GSEP that much. Um, you can actually have an end and it's very similar to our start. Just make sure you add a comma right after your quotes here. Um, so you can add it, you can either add, so we can do maybe center, we can do, if we wanted this to end maybe at the bottom, you can do bottom, um, bottom center, right? Or you could just do percentages like how I've been doing. I would rather just do percentages. Percentages are just a lot easier, um, but it's up to you how you would wanna do, go about doing that when it comes to the end of your scroll. Um, I do have other videos where I go over this more in depth, so just make sure to um, watch those other videos on my channel. I'm sure you guys will get a better idea of GSAP, but it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. You don't really need to know much about uh, JavaScript, maybe just a little bit, um, but, but that's it. I mean, you don't really need to know any JavaScript, honestly. You can just paste this code and just follow um, my instructions, and it should all work perfectly. 
So that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys liked it. Uh, make sure to like it for the YouTube algorithm. Definitely helps out the channel out a lot. And if we can get the video to 50 likes, I'll probably be releasing this scroll effect here. Or whenever you scroll, it expands. And also this one is kind of cool too that I ended up doing. Um, so I might release a video on this hover effect. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see videos on this. Now hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.